Hello from the Northland, everyone. So, as promised, I um, thought I would show you some video of the new Mustang. Um, we're naming it the Judge, um, since judges usually wear black. And uh, this judge has his jury of eight under the hood. So, kind of a cute little twist, I thought. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm real pleased with it. It, uh, I, I do have a couple of gripes that I will mention, nothing major. Just a couple of little things that I would have thought might be a little bit um, better when you're spending almost $55,000 on a car. That seems like a couple of corners were cut that didn't need to be, or maybe that just shouldn't have been. Um, but otherwise... We claimed our first victim the other day, a BMW uh, 328i. Uh, there were three kids in it that chased me down and wanted to race. And um, they didn't really stand much of a chance. Uh, I think partly due to inexperience and, of course, they had, I think, more weight in the car than I did. And I mean, there's, there's lots of other things too, but obviously I'm putting out a little more horsepower than they were and so on, so... But it was fun. It was a first first real race, and uh, it was it was entertaining. So uh, there's the outside. Uh, beautiful leather interior. I thought. I think the red and black theme goes goes well. Uh, hopefully the sun doesn't mess with this, but. I'll do a start up here. Uh, I don't know if it's actually going to be a cold start since I did start it to pull it out of the garage, but it's uh, probably been a good 20 or 30 minutes, so we'll see what happens here. Boy, she sounds good. We'll do a Stang mode uh, signature move here. isn't even the loudest setting there's like four settings right so normal there's a quiet start um, sport and track and they all sound differently depending on which mode you have it in all right so now I'm gonna get to a couple of the dings um, not dings in the car just what I'm dinging it this is to me unacceptable this is just a worker being lazy you're gonna put a sticker on a $55,000 car the least thing you can do is make sure that it's um, right side up but we will be having the windows tinted and that will come off so just kind of silly to me um, the other minor infractions if you will come under the hood so it comes with this stupid prop rod again $55,000 car you would think that you could spend a few extra bucks and put struts in it I did order a conversion kit from Amazon um, it just hasn't come in yet but when it does I'll put that on the other um, goofy part is that the oil dipstick and I don't know if you can see it down there that yellow thing yeah that's it so if you got big mitts good luck trying to get them down there um, and especially if the engines hot you're gonna burn yourself um, I checked it the other day after I got home from work just to be sure because I hadn't checked it since I bought it and uh, yeah it gets it gets pretty warm under there so um, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't extend that stick up at least to the top of the brace here. Just seems silly to me. I don't know. Maybe they have their reasons, but 
Uh, and I've heard people complain about this antifreeze bottle up front and how it looks um, that they could have dressed that up a little bit. And then this big, huge, uh, as I've heard it termed, aircraft carrier size piece of plastic on top of the uh, engine to dress things up. I personally, I like the way the engine looks and I could do without the plastic cover, but it is what it is. Um, I do have a plan to change the cold air intake and probably pick up a few more horses that way. Um, and then we'll have a, have to have that tuned along with an E85 tune. So, um, those are a couple of things that, uh, that we have in the works for the hopefully near future. Um, the other thing I want to do is put in some lowering springs as you can see there's a little bit of a gap there i think if we could probably lower it uh you know probably another inch or so would look better um and then i would like to do a resonator delete um put in a maybe a different x pipe or something a little bit bigger bigger diameter um and then that should hopefully change the sound to make it even a little more um, throatier if you will but there she is and uh, I've had fun driving it I think we just uh, just went over 200 and I think we're close to 250 miles now so it's, uh, it's been a fun ride and I have no regrets buying it uh, thankfully obviously if you, you spend spend that much money and you have regrets then you did something wrong you didn't do your homework but I really like it. Oh, here's another thing I'm doing. So the 5.0 badges, obviously I changed to black. I had a hard time finding a running horse I wanted. I ordered uh, two sets from Amazon, a red set and a black set. Both said they would fit, and of course both are too small. So I ordered a couple from Ford. Uh, hopefully they'll fit. I do have some red 5.0s, but I thought, you know... For right now, let's uh, let's keep it stealth. We can always change it if later if we want. I added the red valve stem caps. I have uh, black and red center caps for the rims coming. Should be here today. And I have a black GT coming. I need to find a red one yet. Um, or I've heard that the running horse will interchange with the GT. So if... Uh, Ford was supposed to order me two of them, so if they fit, maybe I'll just change the G2 to a, a black running horse. But that's kind of where we're at. Windows will be tinted, taillights will be tinted, um, probably by the end of this month, July. And uh, Sunday I drop it off at PL Automotive. It's going to get its paint protection, ceramic coat, interior protection, and undercoating and rust proofing. So then we'll be, be ready and I'll hopefully feel safe about driving it more than I am now. I'm just afraid of getting rock chips on the front bumper and stuff right now. So I also have a car cover coming from Ford. So when it's uh, in storage for lengthy periods, we can cover it and protect it. And I don't know, I, I think that's, that's all I have to update right now. So there it is. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. Even if you don't like it, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. And if you have any suggestions, comments, uh, please please put them below, and uh, I'll try to get to all of them. All right. Thank you.